Bonjour, my jolly fit. I have no idea if I said that correct. I Google translated it. I'm so sorry. So I'm going to Paris. Just saying that. Oh my god, I'm going to Paris. I'm going to Paris. That just has me speechless. Like, I don't even know what to say. I've never been outside of the US before, like, ever in my entire life. I've never been on an airplane longer than five hours. And to top it all off, I don't know French. As a little late birthday gift to myself, I was like, hey, Lily, why don't you go to Paris? So here we are. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh my God. Here's the situation. My trip is a few weeks away. I'm going to Paris for nine days. I currently only have five outfits to wear out there at the moment. Clearly, the math isn't mathing. I need more outfits. I need to go thrifting for my Paris trip. So let's go shopping. Real quick before we continue, I want to talk about my favorite lip stains and this video's sponsor. Para Para is currently the number one best selling lip stain on Amazon. Para Para has so many different lip stains with a variety of different shades. I'll definitely be wearing all of these in Paris with certain outfits and pairing outfits with different shades because like look at all these options that I have. I'm currently wearing the Ink Velvet shade 17 Rosy Nude. It's a cold favorite shade and sells one bottle every 2.5 minutes on Amazon. It's such a lovely color and all the lip stains are multifunctional. You can layer for a full bold lip. You can also use the Ink Velvet shade 17 Rosy Nude on your cheeks and it looks so adorable. Like it looks like I'm blushing but like so natural. You can also use the lip stains on your eyes and there you go. You now have a cute little pink moment going on. Parapara lip stains are super affordable and really easy to get. They're available on Amazon and you can get shade 17 as part of their nice to meet nude kit along with their other two best-selling nude shades which is ink velvet shade 23 nutty nude this is what it looks like and the second shade is cocoa nude number 29 if you love all three shades as much as i do you can try this kit of three for the price of two but the individual shades can also be bought separately if that's what you want this is para para's biggest sale of the year so make sure to shop on amazon before they sell out they're having an amazon prime day sale for up to 40 percent off on amazon from july 12th to july 13th link in the description box now back to the video. location. I've never been to this thrift store. It took me 30 minutes to get here. So hopefully I find good things or else it would have been a waste of money, especially because I Ubered here. But I found this thrift store through TikTok because I was trying to find like the good thrift stores in LA since I always go to Goodwill and this store kept on popping up. So I was like, you know what? Let me give it a try now. Let's go inside. This goes with the vibe that I want to go for, like, you know, the lacy, like, dreamy ballerina princess kind of vibe, but it's a medium, and I just, I feel like it wouldn't compliment me. And then there's this dress. I like the concept of it, but, like, this does not match my hair at all. It's too vibrant. So we're putting her back, but she was a cute little, cute little find. <laughs> Look at this. I love Friends. Like, Friends is one of my favorite shows. What, what is it, 10 seasons? It just brought me back to, like, when I lived with my parents, and I would, like, do my homework and watch runs. The sadness I feel when I find something really cute, but it's not my size. It's a large. I'm so sad. Look at this. It would have been so adorable with my hair. Oh my god. Found a cute skirt that I actually am considering buying. Oh my god. Totally fairy vibes. And it looks so good with my hair. I don't know what it is about blue or just like blue colors, but I love how it looks with my hair. Like it makes me feel like a mermaid. It's either like I like mini skirts or skirts that are long but i don't like like above the knee because that's just like an awkward link and if it is it has to be flowy like this like this is so freaking cute and like with this i mean i don't know maybe like we already have a whole outfit right here if i wore black this would be so cute like it's such a pretty skirt like it's sparkly and i love like the details of it i hope somebody finds her and rocks her okay i think i am done shopping here i was probably here for like an hour or two because it's so huge and like so far from me that i was like i'm gonna look through every aisle and see what i can find i mean i haven't looked through it all yet but this is a good amount of things and they're all like pretty 
cute and like the vibe that I was going for. Like everything is like pastel and like dainty and like lacy. Yeah, I'm gonna go through this, gonna check out and then we're off to the next thrift store. But so far we got some good finds. Like I am excited to wear some of these in Paris. Just a thing that was so annoying about this thrift store in like a certain aisle, like where the dresses were, it was so windy because of all the fans that it would lift my dress up and I couldn't shop properly right there because I was like literally lifts my dress up you can freaking see everything I was like no do I come here again I am not wearing a dress <laughs> okay now let's go check out Continuing with the thrifting journey. I'm currently in my hometown because I had to visit family So I was like this is a perfect opportunity to go thrifting here Especially because in LA I was not having the best of luck because I know the Depop girlies be stealing all the good stuff Real quick. Here's my little fit check of the day wearing my husband on my shirt Harry Styles And then I have my little Rila Kuma mask with strawberries on it and my little fairy necklace Let's go inside now. My camera died. So we're switching to my iPhone. Um, I think I'm gonna have to DIY this because I, I can't put it back. It's, it's just so pretty. And I have a skirt just like this on my Pinterest. So I have to take it with me. Like so far, this is a favorite thing I have found throughout this entire thrift trip. And it's not my size. I found these really cute loafers. They literally remind me of the Prada ones. And I'm so sad because they don't fit me. I'm pretty sure they're like a size seven and a half or something because they're like this much too big. This is so cute. I love the butterfly. It has so many stains on it. So I was like about to check out and then I see the jewelry section. I was like, let me let me look at it real quick. And I found the cutest things ever. Like I'm so glad I looked at it because what the heck? Look at this. I have like I bought a heart locket from Melrose, but I don't really like it because it looks like really cheap and just like not cute. But this, this is so much cuter. Like this is what I originally wanted. And I found it. It just reminds me of Lana Del Rey. I'm obsessed with it it's so pretty and then this little star choker too oh my god okay we're gonna check out now i've been here too long i just found the cutest scarf ever oh my god look at this look at her the camera does not give it the justice it deserves but it's sparkly and cute and literally looks like something that i have on my pinterest board i am for sure getting this and it's only two dollars okay but yeah look at the scarves in your thrift stores because sometimes they have really cute things like this found a pink denim jacket I love this. This is so cute. Just reminds me like of summer. Like imagine me eating strawberries and then, like a little pink hat. It's adorable. I've always wanted a pink denim jacket and I found one. Look how pretty my cart is looking. Oh my God, so pastel and so cute. <laughs> ready to see everything that i got from the thrift stores i slayed this thrift trip like i found so many things okay the first thing i want to show you guys that i got from the thrift store is this really cute baby doll lingerie dress it is to die for oh my god when i saw this i was like i need it it's an immediate purchase no second thoughts at all okay i'm gonna show you guys the next thing <laughs> This is the cutest little cardigan ever. And it's from Pretty Little Thing, the perfect bubblegum pastel pink color. It is so freaking cute, oh my God. This top, no words for it, truly no words for it. It's just like, look how cute it looks on me. Oh my God, I am obsessed with it. The way that I wore it was kind of like a dress by putting a little skirt underneath, but I guess you could wear pants if you wanted to, but I prefer it to look like a cute little mini dress. This totally just screams fairy vibes. Like, I was disappointed when I tried this on. It wasn't giving what I thought it was gonna give. Like, I thought when I put this on, I was gonna look like a beautiful Barbie fairy princess, but then I tried it on and I looked like I was going to church. I was disappointed, truly disappointed. The denim jacket, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. I love this color, I am obsessed with this color. I always wanted a pink denim jacket. I actually, I'm definitely bringing this with me. This is a must. 
Okay, these pants. I was a little iffy when I bought them, but then I tried them on and I was like, wait, it totally gives I'm going to Europe vibes. Like the glasses, the little top, so cute. I was gonna <laughs> make the buttons pink, but I realized I'm too lazy to do that. So I'm just gonna leave it, but it's, it's okay because it goes perfectly with my glasses. So 10 out of 10, super cute. I feel like I can dance in these in the beach and I would be so happy. This sweater is so pretty. I love everything about it. Like the shade of blue that it is, so cute. I guess it's like a periwinkle. I love it. I'm pretty sure it was cheap too. So win-win for me, this corset. You'll never guess where it's from. It's from Princess Polly. And I found this at a thrift store for like, I think it was under $10, like either somewhere between $5 to $10. Versus this being on the website, I'm pretty sure this would have been somewhere between $30 to $40. Thank you to whoever donated this. I love you for that. When I was shopping at the thrift store and I came across this skirt, I was super iffy about it because I was like, I honestly don't know if this is going to look good on me and I don't know if I have anything to wear it with. Then I got home and I realized I recently bought this top, not from the thrift store, and it goes perfectly with the skirt. Like it has the same exact shade of beige on it. So I paired it together and it looks so cute. By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe too or else I'm going to have Luna bite you it's the way that i always wanted something like this in my life and i finally have a sweater like it i finally found one i think it would have been perfect if it was pink but white is still a favorite color of mine i wear pink and white a lot of times i've been eyeing a top like this for forever because i always wanted to wear something like this but whenever i go to stores i never find anything like it and if i do it looks too much like i'm going to work but this one looks really cute and fashionable like it does not look like i work at an office job well that is all oh my god i can't believe i'm going to paris i am literally going in a few days now let me know what you want me to record while i'm in paris because i am 100 percent gonna record everything that i do there but if you want something specific let me know in the comments because right now would be a good time to tell me since I'm gonna be on my way to Paris by the time this is posted. So yeah, love you guys. Bye. See you in Paris. <laughs>